Signal Soundbites. I'm Brandon Pena, Managing Editor of The Signal, and today I have three awesome people with me, and they're going to introduce themselves, starting with you. Hey, 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 what's up, everyone? The name's Troylan Griffin II, healing from a cut that I got on my first digit. It's, wait, when did, I, when did I start recording? A little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see him press it. Troylan actually got himself injured in a ruler war a little bit ago that you Sword can find on fight. our Instagram at UAC at the Signal. Oh you can see part of that war. Yes. Why don't my assailant introduce himself? <laughs> well, you were the aggressor. So. Oh, no. oh, this is true. Um, you attacked first. It could have been a friendly thing. But hello, everyone. I'm Jonathan Zapata, and uh, I like making videos, and I'm kind of a techie as well. So my first time here. Yes. <laughs> Fresh, man. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily Wolf, and I am the editor of The Wingspan, which is our digital yearbook. Um, I do not condone ruler fighting, <laughs> but, you know. Um, this is also my first time here doing this. So. This is exciting. we got two new people on mm-hmm. the podcast, some fresh voices. Um, speaking oh, yeah. of violence, though, this is our special Halloween podcast. Oh, yes, and, very uh, violent. The way we gut those uh, pumpkins and stuff. Well, I mean, you got in a rule award. It's very violent. That You're too. bleeding. I'm bleeding, everyone. Which raises the, the you know the question of why don't we have a first aid kit nearby? Exactly. <laughs> and also, why is the health services the other building? You know what? I know what my next assignment is editorial. Yeah, you need one. I'm going to sure. do an editorial. We need we need some health services in this building. But I think I should I probably lie about how I got hurt. Yeah. I think I'll say I was messing with a the ruler. There, there you go. Just picked <laughs> it messing up. with it. I'm sure. You didn't know how to yeah. use it. Yeah, I didn't know how to use the ruler. That would be an inter- interesting video, oh. too. Get people's responses like, you don't know how to use a ruler? You're in college. Well, <laughs> maybe I had how a bad exactly education. Did you get here? <laughs> yeah. Communications major, not a math major. Exactly. <laughs> well, we were originally going to talk about The Walking Dead. Did, do you watch Watching Walking Dead? I don't. <laughs> None of them watch The Walking Dead. I watch The Walking well, Dead. I'm a first season quitter. Like, I, I actually own the first season <laughs> on DVD, it. but um, I never continued. <laughs> well, well, I I'm know. notorious for just watching the first season of things. Everyone it, loves Daryl Dixon. That's all I know. In terms of the <laughs> AMC TV show Trinity, I've only seen the best AMC show, which is Breaking Bad. I haven't gotten to Walking Dead or uh, Mad Men. Oh, oh. Mad Men, sorry. Not, not Halloween, <laughs> but I do love Mad Men. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten to I it. I highly suggest y'all get into The Walking Dead because it's really good. Uh, no, 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 no. We won't go too deep in that. But... <laughs> Uh, uh, since you guys haven't watched Walking Dead, we'll just go ahead and talk about zombie apocalypse in general because that's kind of a big trend nowadays. In zombie kind of apocalypse. Halloween. So, if you were happen to be walking into a, a zombie apocalypse, mm-hmm. who among us do you think would survive the longest? And Me. Who among us would die first? Oh, I would well. die first because I would just give in. <laughs> you just give up. I would give up. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to fight. He's I'm like, just going to be like, I probably wouldn't even notice they're there. Honestly. You're joining their team. It's like, wow. Yeah, basically. I wouldn't trust Troilin. Because uh, he can't really like... use a ruler, so. Uh, no. Did you think... see how he jumped on the table? Like, that's instinct right that's... there. <laughs> but in all the zombie films, the documentarian always lasts the longest. Because that's, that's like true. the thing oh, they yeah. get. True, so. true. I've always yeah. felt like if I was in a zombie apocalypse, I might just be the one who does the whole treacherous thing. <laughs> and maybe I might be the traitor, and then I'll get me You're killed. You're gonna be vegan? I hope you got your shit and pants on. Because you are about to shit your pants. No, hey. not like Megan. Heck no. Have you seen the show? No, no, not like Megan. I do know about Megan. You get like a ruler yeah. with like a bunch of spikes on oh, it. Sure! <laughs> But I think, um, I don't know, I do know that me and Jonathan would probably make it pretty far, because we're very yeah. self-aware people. Yeah, I've very, seen World War Z, so... A very impressive oh, that is the worst there. zombie movie ever. <laughs> that is, I hate that movie so much. <laughs> Look, I'm Why? sorry. There Why? is no way that you can... It was just so bad. I mean... Why? Have you seen the Romeo and Juliet zombie film with, like, Nicholas Holt? No, no. Oh, my God. It was so bad. I loved it. That would be me, actually. I would fall in love with the zombie. You would but the World War Z go. wasn't even, like, a so bad it's good. It was just, <laughs> like... It's just... It was just bad to me. Because, okay, first of all, it it was unlike any other zombie film. And maybe you could say that was the point. But 
in general, the film just it tried to be more than what it was. <laughs> I guess you could say, like it. Okay, it's one of those instances where it tried to be different, and it ended up just being bad. It, I just can't explain it. <laughs> Also, I think it might I just enjoy be... like zombies crawling on top of each other, and so I like the I mean, visuals of that movie. My favorite I'm, zombie film would... is like Scooby Doo and Zombies Island. Oh, like, I love that! I like that. That movie. was yeah. it. Like, <laughs> uh, like I'm more of a fan of like the blank of the Living Dead kind of movies and oh, stuff, where you know the zombies are slow moving. No, but the Dawn of the Dead remake that was great. That that was great. Mm-hmm. Look, zombie movies are good, but World War Z sucked. Okay, <laughs> so I think we would all fare pretty well because. Yeah. We all have some familiarity with zombies. We know, That's like, the, the headshot thing. I yeah. mean, it's funny how common, it's, how it's sort of common knowledge how to kill like a zombie. Like in Zombieland. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. You see Zombieland. Zombieland. Yeah. See, you that's a good, good zombie movie. That was a good movie to try to redefine the genre. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, it's bleeding through. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm, like, really nervous for you. <laughs> yeah. attention to it. I'm, like, really nervous for you. But, uh... uh just question, though. Because this is something I've always thought about with zombies. If a zombie apocalypse did happen, do you guys think the zombies would run or walk slowly? I would just... Well, ooh, like, I honestly think it depends on the zombie. Because, yeah. like, me as a zombie, I would walk really slow. Honestly, <laughs> I would just lay there. Oh, but, like, I feel like if Usain Bolt became a zombie, there's no way he's going to be a slow walking well, zombie. I don't know, though, because the only thing I think about, though, is that... It seems, from what I've seen, all the time, zombies are rotting. So, yeah. how, even if the zombies kind of started to run, eventually they're going to move slowly because, one, they're mindless, and two, their bones are going to rot. Like what you just said, their bone yeah. structure. So, you think true. there could be a society of humans still, like, we just have to live with zombies and they For live, like, bit. on the hour. It, and yeah, they'll just they, deteriorate on we their We build own. a wall or something. And it's well, like, no. Oh, don't go to that. I'm just saying that I think it'd be more like the old, traditional old zombie movies where they're moving slowly. I mean, mm-hmm. maybe they might run, but... that's but, not as scary, though. Yeah. It's like... Okay, well, in real life, are things ever as scary? You know, you know how much life. construction Clowns there is in Houston? There are no vampires, <laughs> though. You know how much construction there is in Houston? You could set up big traps and just like do away with all the zombies. This is honestly yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, you know, you like get into a house and surround the house with treadmills, <laughs> and so they won't be able to get over the treadmills. Yeah. That's smart. I would just hide in here because the door locked. <laughs> yeah. Just hide in the newsroom and just wait it out. For I a have while. found that like I think. <laughs> Uh, besides a mall, a college is probably a good place to I be agree. in. And in a case mall? of a zombie, no, a, well, oh. a mall or a college, honestly. Why? There's so many people. Why a mall, yeah. Well, there's yeah. So many people. There's so many ways to get into a, to a mall. Maybe, yeah. but maybe. but you could just a... eat a pretzel and then die. Would be great. All the pretzels would rot too. Yeah. No, not if you had like make sure the person making the pretzel was still alive. Like protect that. Person. That's gotta find a jar of pudding. A large, just tub of pudding. I mean, I would, I would just trust a, I would trust a big, like I guess, tough building like this over my own house. Cause I mean, I think on. we worry a lot about the zombies, but I think we should worry a lot about what other people are doing. Cause you know, people would take advantage and start like the making their own little right. governments. It would be like the, the governor yeah. and Negan. There'd be yeah, areas. Yeah, no, I'm locking myself in the house. Like, I'd rather oh, give into the zombies than to a militia. I think you should go chase that out. <laughs> mm, uh, no thanks. This I'm doing just fine. It's, it's supposed to do it's that. Pe- it's supposed to. It's all effect. This is fake. This work. is all just uh, for show. <laughs> But if I do spontaneously leave, you know what happened. Now, anyway, <laughs> continuing the discussion. Continuing the discussion. Uh, <laughs> feeling lightheaded. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Go on. How ironic would it be to have a death on the podcast? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, oh, death on the, the podcast. Oh, so large. Oh, and guess I what? The black guy goes just, first. They just wouldn't They'd listen. probably make a movie out of it. I mean, that would be interesting. Hey, Who would play us in a, in a scary movie? Like a, a funny parody? Mm. I would like to say I'm cool enough to have Emma Roberts play me, but <laughs> probably <you> not. <laughs> Who are some black actors that could play me? <laughs> the dude that was just on uh, Force Awakens. Yeah! Really kinda yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, let's have him play me! <laughs> it's funny, though. I mean, if I die right now, I mean, that just shows the black guy dies first, even in real life. <laughs> 
But you could change that. You could change yes. that stereotype. That's true. There That's you go. true. Fight like the stereotype. I remember me and my friends were talking about making a horror movie because, like, you know, the black person or the minority always dies. So what we thought, what if we made a horror movie where the white guys try to protect their black friends? So as long as he doesn't get killed, they won't die either. Oh, I see. That's actually oh. really funny. Very That's aware very... of like other movies. And yeah. Stuff. I love when okay. folks do that. Like, have a very like self awareness and yeah. stuff. Well, speaking of movies. What are your favorite scary movies? Oh yeah. What are, what are some things you enjoy watching? Any classics? Any new stuff? I'm gonna be the one to go in the old classic route and say my favorite horror movie, without a doubt, is Rosemary's Baby. I don't know That's if anyone else seen it, but mm-hmm. best horror movie yet. I find horror films to be way scarier when it's like something that could actually happen, and yeah. it's more of a thriller. So yeah. Also in the old, I like. Manchurian Candidate always really scares oh. me, oh, and yeah. I, but the original, the remake sucked. I haven't seen um, the remake, I think. Wait, I don't think I've seen the original. It's The original is one with Frank Sinatra and Angela Lansbury. I've seen mm-hmm. excerpts from that, but yeah, that's... Yeah. And then, like, I, I also that. think uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, that also, like, really terrified me and gave me nightmares. But I don't really like the blood and gore, I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you, filmmaker? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is your genre. This is your your alley. Well, actually, horror really. This is scary. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't say that it doesn't scare me. You know, so, some of when I was little, I used to be terrified of the dark and <laughs> stuff like that. I don't even know exactly when I grew out of that. But one it's of the true. movies that scared me <laughs> was the original It because my mom showed it to me whenever I was uh-huh. whenever yes. I was younger. Like wow. I, I was only like seven. Yeah, and I remember scenes it. from it yeah. and. So thanks, mom, for the nightmares. <laughs> and another one that that I liked was uh, the Shining, just because oh, it's really good. it's really cool. Like, I, I love the Shining. I like really well. Done I like Danny. Ones. Yeah, like that's that's one of the things I like about Rosemary's Baby is that it um it has what a lot of horror movies these days are lacking, which is being well written. Rosemary's Baby to me is well written, and it doesn't rely on jump scares. It relies on just that psychological tension of whoa, yeah, like what exactly. if this did happen and stuff mm-hmm. like that, rather than quiet quiet going in the dark ah! and then it's just like their friend coming from around the corner they're like what's wrong with you <laughs> like uh, jump scares like See, my dying. favorites are the whole scream series uh, i didn't really care yes. for scream 2 okay but scream 2 is not near as good as the other one i don't really I watch agree. that one when it comes on but like <laughs> scream 1 scream 3 scream 4 love those agreed also agreed. uh i what is it i know what you did last summer the one with the oh yeah the, Jennifer oh Love Hewitt yes. and Sarah Michelle Geller, my that. Buffy. Yeah, love that one. Uh, so yeah, I, I like those. They're but I like it guy. because yeah. it's one of those things that it happens. Yeah. You know, and it's like that makes it more scary. I'll tell you one thing: the one horror movies I will never watch are anything with ghosts. I'm not a fan of ghosts. I'm not here for the ghost. Why? <laughs> are you scared of ghosts? The only ghost I like is a holy ghost, and that's it. <laughs> 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 so anything like paranormal activity, I won't watch it. Oh, Did you have an paper. experience or something? Or you just, I've, I've, just want to stay away? <laughs> <laughs> I've had experiences where I think I've seen a ghost. Like, there was a time when I was, like, maybe 12. We were at this hotel, and it was, like, a really old hotel. <laughs> or, like, oh, a, my. A, my cousin's wedding. And it was, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, I remember coming out of the bathroom and going to bed and seeing like this little girl like sitting on my bed and I was like half asleep so I didn't know if I was like (laughs) you know present at the time (laughs) but then I just went back to sleep and then the next morning we were talking with people who had also stayed in the hotel and they're like yeah we kept hearing like kids running up and down the hallways at 2 a.m but there's like no kids here and it's like that's not disturbing at all. Yeah. Lights are flickering. Like I'm ready to go home. Shared <laughs> experiences are dang. That's, no, uh, that's like, pretty crazy. Yeah. So no, no, ghost movies are not ever gonna be my thing. <laughs> well, also, what you were saying about Scream, like uh, to the writers of Scream too. I'm still not happy you guys killed Randy. Just saying, I was <laughs> so unhappy with that. They killed Randy. Like Randy is spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> you haven't seen it. In a- <laughs> also, Buffy's in it, and she's not at all like Buffy. <laughs> I love Buffy, man. I was like, You're why is really it she fighting? Buffy, that's <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love Buffy, and Buffy I just so found good. out they have seasons two, one, <laughs> and three in the library to check out. Oh, Do you have nice. Hulu? No. Okay, well, it's on all all the seasons are on Hulu. I have Netflix and a bunch of other things. I don't have time to be subscribing to more <laughs> stuff. 
Well, definitely check out our, our Newman library and check those out. Uh, no, no, I'll check them out. You guys can uh, don't, don't check them out. Yeah. You should have a viewing Otherwise, party. Otherwise, I'll hurt you with a ruler. You should have a viewing party and invite your UHCL friends to watch yeah. with Yeah. A lot of people don't like Buffy anymore, though. What? Like, really? I mean, like, a lot of people think it's campy or silly and stuff. That's what makes... I literally listened to, like, the soundtrack episode for the musical one. Uh, whatever, this morning. So I <laughs> died <laughs> so many years ago. That, that, that Spike Life song. Performs. Spike song. I love Spike. Is so I love Spike good. is the man. Okay. Very Angel, nice. but... <laughs> no! Spike! Angel. <laughs> Angel is boring. <laughs> Angel is perfect. <laughs> show sucks, but he is himself is perfect. Wait, you say the show sucks? I didn't like Angel at all. Have you watched the whole series? I got through the second season and I was like, no. You gotta keep going. <laughs> you, 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 you gotta keep going. You know, the fifth season, Spike joins and it's basically him and Angel. Oh my god. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Angel, giving away all people this. know this stuff, man. It's, it's been a couple of years. It's a couple of years. Everybody does. Well, I guess you have a point. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so aside from that, another thing associated with Halloween is costumes. Mm-hmm. What have you guys worn before, and what are some things that you would that you've seen that you've liked that you like? Eh, why why would you do that? Any any interesting costume stories you guys have? I tried to make my own costume one yes. Halloween. It was a uh, 2015, and. Uh, I was really embarrassed by the end of the night. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting like a rolling narrative. No. It was, it was 2015. <laughs> it was a dark, cold October. <laughs> well, I was invited to this Halloween party, and it was definitely going to be everyone's in costume. Like, uh-huh. that's what my friend told me. And so I had to sort of go in my closet and gather what I could. And I don't know what the hell I was. Like, I looked like a power, like a power ranger, but like a bootlegged one. I just wore, I wore black pants, black shoes. I bought these dollar store, uh, you know, the glow bracelets and necklaces, and I put them on, and then I have a Harley motorcycle helmet, and I put that on, and I wasn't really anything. Just like a a mixture of things, you can decide. Yeah, people would ask me what I was, and I didn't really have an answer. (laughs) That was me, uh, and I think October 2012. I was trying to go for being Jimi Hendrix, but it became something else. I I had a sleeveless shirt on. I had like the little. Uh, bandana, bandana around my head. Obviously, I had a big afro, but you didn't have a guitar or a fake yeah. guitar. That I'm would not, have been that okay. Would have I didn't feel like carrying that thing. <laughs> now, I didn't That's feel funny. like carrying it. You cut one out of uh, cardboard. Now, would don't take advice from me. I, I didn't. <laughs> <have a guitar. laughs> um, my parents made my costume one year. I was four years old. And this is before cultural appropriation was a thing, so I went to Pocahontas. Well, you, know, you pale, racist. I'm pale just kidding. <laughs> hey. Hazel-eyed girl when I was Pocahontas. It was all cool. I look at the photos. I'm just like, that looks nothing like a Native American. Like, at all. That just looks like me wearing something weird. But I loved it at that point. So. Very nice. Four-year-old me only cared. Five-year-old me. Four-year-old me was a Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're still a Yankee. Still a Yankee. I want to see no Martinez. I think for a lot of years I was a doctor. <laughs> I was like from like ages four to five, <laughs> four to eight. <laughs> I was like a doctor every friggin' year. Uh, and then I never really dressed up until like 2012. It was like the last time. It was my best friend's Halloween party. It's a costume party. We ought to be in costume. And so <laughs> I was a vampire. And <laughs> oh, wow. I had like this like cape, I think. And I had like eyeliner and stuff. I was like really into it. I was like, this is, I did you sparkle? Really I did a little. Uh, yes. uh, no, not and those And we actually vampires. recorded a, like an hour long YouTube thing because we used to have a YouTube channel, which is now deleted, so don't bother trying to find it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was fun. And uh, <laughs> after that, I was like, I'm not into the dressing up thing anymore. You're not going to do it this no, year? No, probably not. Are you guys going to? I'm not. I'd probably not. I figured you would. I, have a I want to, but I don't know. You should. Like, I, my, you know, well, this probably will come out like afterwards, but tomorrow, which is the 26th on Thursday, if you dress up in a costume, you go to the bookstore, you get a gift card. 
or I think you could win a gift card. Oh, wow. I'm getting a, yeah. I'm getting a costume. So you can wear a costume tomorrow. I'm not even getting a costume, man. I could just be lying to the team. Oh, <laughs> yo, come on. I just, like, take pictures. You know, the weird, the weird thing like, is... Why are you in a costume, Twyla? <laughs> I've noticed, though, in all my years of dressing up, I never was the person who dressed in, like, scary attire. I was always, like, a superhero or something. That's good. I don't think I ever dressed as anything scary, as opposed to my brother, who was a zombie, then a vampire, and... Now he thinks that since he's 13, he can be Michael Myers and Jason and That's Freddy fine. and stuff. Yeah. Let him be. Yeah. Hey, it's not up be. to me. It's up to my mom. <laughs> I went as a zombie Belle from Beauty and the Beast when I was wow. like 13. I think this last year I like dressed up, dressed up. Yeah, I wanted to be a Tinkerbell, and my mom thought the zombie Bell was the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was really upset, and I just never dressed up since. <laughs> well, if you were to dress up this year, what is your what would be your costume? What would be your thing that you would you would dress up as? I would dress up as a Federation officer because I am a big Trekkie. That is my Trekkie. dream, Trekkie. my yes. dream costume. That's such an easy costume, too. No, you can't, you can't find one yeah, with the Amazon. insignia. Yeah, just go to Amazon. Especially <laughs> now if you use the Discovery ones. Those yeah, are, like, true. so cool, but they're so, like, hard to make, I bet. Yeah. Um, I would go as Chanel Oberlin from Scream Queens. I think that is the, it's such an easy costume. The thing is, you have to have like a Chad Radwell with you, or like other little lackey Chanel's. <laughs> it has to be like a group thing. A group thing. <laughs> but that's what I would want to do. I'm sure you have some friends to bring. Yeah. I do, but they're all in like Utah and Florida. And yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Don't make friends in Disney World. Don't make, <laughs> just don't make friends. That's the general. Don't, don't make, friends. make friends. Don't make friends in Disney World. They'll have to go back to their own <laughs> state. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be something be? that you could morph into. And I hate like, like a Power Ranger, like a werewolf. <laughs> no, like like I don't like Transformers, but I'm thinking of a costume where if it if I like duck, I'm a car, and then I I pop out. And oh, like, I, think, I just want a dynamic. Like, costume. Some people have done that, I think. Just, I want yeah. something that lights up. I don't know. A Ninja <laughs> Turtle, like just a Ninja Turtle, and then like a duck, and you can like hide underneath your shell if you're a turtle on the middle of the true. road. Yeah. yeah, you could be a turtle. <laughs> what about you? I I don't know. I would probably do like. <laughs> Rick Grimes or something, because I'm like really into Walking Dead right now. Yeah. So I'd probably like figure out a costume from there, or be a zombie, because you know, that's I an interesting thing. <laughs> pop culture ones that are like really obvious, like Wonder Woman's gonna be really mm-hmm. big this year. Oh yeah. And that was a great film. I'm not. I don't want to see a million Wonder Womans. Yeah. So, but I think yeah. pop culture ones, but not like obviously ones. I think those are the best. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a lot of it's. Yeah. A lot of definitely. Wonder Woman, <laughs> and a lot of uh, what's something else that's big. Star Wars? Star Wars? Because he's like Star Wars. Wars always you always see Star Wars yeah. no matter what. You're always going to see an Iron Man. The Jedi yeah. robe is pretty easy to go buy yeah. some brown robe. And I got to be honest. Lightsaber. If I could get my hair into a Jerry curl, I'd probably go as Michael Jackson. Oh, that'd be but awesome. They don't make the Jerry curl liquid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so that's unfortunate. It's okay. so dumb when people are like, if I see grown adults and grown teenagers like trying to come to my house for trick or treating, I'm not gonna give them any candy. They do. I'm like, they say that. Yeah, it's really. I'm like, no, live your. They're living their best life. Living their best life now. <laughs> they came into my house. Not into my house. They came to my house for candy, dressed up as something very lovely. I will give them candy. Like you they live... went through all that effort. Exactly, they deserve an M M&M and M. They deserve one M M&M. and <laughs> M. Well, I think uh, one of the hesitations I had about whether to dress up was the fact that I mean, am I really gonna go trick or treating this year? Like, I would yeah, think I met dress up for a party. Though. I would yeah. think I'm at the age where I'd go to Halloween parties. Mm-hmm. I was hoping maybe someone around here is gonna have one. I could. Experience well, one of those. We're having a party on Friday. You can dress up. Stranger this things. This is true. This, this is always, true. Uh, like take someone trick or treating, and that true, way true. my mom lived vicariously through us <laughs> like that. <laughs> she always get all dressed up, and my dad's like, "You're not the one trick or treating, Suzanne." And she's like, <laughs> "So." <laughs> she's like, <"Okay>, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, maybe I. Am. <laughs> <gasps> I think the bleeding has finally stopped. <laughs> Good. How can you tell? There's a lot of blood. <laughs> There's a lot of blood. It's a lot that hasn't increased. That's, oh. But well, at the that's same so time, I'm feeling darkness in my eyes. Just kidding. But uh, 
It does look a little bit redder than it did. I know. I feel like it's just like overlapping. I will go to the nurse after this. I'm not missing this. But okay. Die for the it's signal. It's in another building, so. Yeah, we'll start to go fun. I'll for run. You. <gasps> That's it. Maybe by getting more excited and letting the blood go to my head, it won't come out of here. <laughs> Wait, no. When you get excited, where does the blood go to? <laughs> not history of the blood. Wait, I'll, not going there. I'll put my feet not in the air. There. Yeah, I'll go right this there. Is not that kind of podcast, but uh, maybe for health month or something, we'll talk about that. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll bring it a professional. Good thing there aren't uh, any vampires here. I could go you somewhere, but I won't. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is that because they share things? Huh? Stranger Things. Have you guys Stranger Things. Yeah. Love me some Stranger so Things. So good. Saw yeah. it just a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, we kind of forced you to watch it. Yeah. I mean, college is going to change were you. About it. Yeah. I, I you were was real hesitant. Let me explain why I was hesitant. <laughs> okay, look, I am always hesitant when it comes to certain media that is considered sci-fi, yet people who don't like sci-fi are into it. This is why I have not read or seen any of the Hunger Games because there were people who would make fun of people like me who were nerds that were into the yeah, Hunger Games. No, you don't like bandwagoners, that's what you're saying. Yeah, or like I just didn't like that. I mean, when sci fi uh, is really liked like that by someone who, a bad way who would make fun of us, a, a nerd, that means that it's like, what do you call it? I guess like, like sellout sci fi. It's like, uh, uh, it's like if anyone, like everyone, even like the snobbiest girl might like Metallica, but she's not gonna like Slayer because Metallica is kind of a sellout metal. Anyone can dig it. Oh, wow. <laughs> he is claiming Big a lot, being a lot made. of cl- claims. I mean, oh, you guys get what I mean. So I was hesitant because, you know, people like Stranger Things who don't like sci-fi. And I was like, okay, that's another Hunger Games. Not doing that. I feel like Jonathan has something like really pressing to say. He's like Fine. holding give, back. Just give, because give. a lot of people like it, shouldn't it shouldn't like affect the way you see the, the work that you're I, I, just, I don't know because I feel like I there is no <laughs> fake sci-fi. Like I don't draw that line. I just think that there can be popular sci-fi that are, that is maybe not so in depth that people will. So you're get, saying that you know sometimes easy. it's just more accessible. You mean for like yeah yeah. yeah. I know, but it's just. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a. I'm just hesitant. It's just like a bias. Like now, I will admit there are certain works like the X Files that was really popular. Yeah. But the X Files kind of had that thing to where. So since you since you've watched The Stranger Things and you're against it, are you a sellout? Ooh. No, because I am a no. natural sci-fi fan. I'm just, not just to clarify. I'm not some uh, snobby person that's gonna be like, oh, uh, Star Trek. That's so dorky and stuff. But I like Stranger Things. Like, no, I'm not gonna be like that. I'm gonna be like, I'll go from Stranger Things to Star Trek. Star Trek's not so bad. Good. No, I love Stranger Things, but I also didn't like. So I watched the first episode like mm. the week it came out, the first season. And I hated it. I hated that first episode. Really? Because I thought it was going to go in, like, one direction. I thought it was like, oh, who is the Demogorgon? I didn't yeah. think. So I thought they were, like, going to try to find something with yeah. the Demogorgon. And I was like, oh, okay, this is just, like, a really bad, like, Twin Peaks, like, knockoff. Like, oh, yeah. So that's what I thought it was. And so everyone watched it. And so finally I was, I was like, fine, I'll watch it. And so I watched it a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh, oh, this is nothing like how I thought it was. This is actually amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I, it, so no, I'm really obsessed with it now. It did turn out to be a lot more mysterious than I thought. Like I did mm-hmm. think, you know, that towards the end of the episodes, maybe the sheriff or somebody was going. There'd be a scene where you know they'd finally hold a gun to that um, doctor's head, the one that's like Eleven's papa, yeah. and be like, "All right, <laughs> explain it." And he'd be like, "All right, let me tell you everything." I thought they would. I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> it never did, and so we still don't know what the demogorgon. I'm surprised people still call it that. I called it the monster or the, that thing. The Demogorgon, yeah. But, I, um. Like, so believe that Eleven's gonna, like, be, like, the bad guy of this next season. Oh, really? I do because I feel like there's so much in common with her and Jean Grey that uh, I think, cause, like, even, like, they mentioned they want, oh, I'll give you my Uncanny X Men, whatever number it is. And I looked it up and it was. The first appearance We're, of the Phoenix Force. Oh, and that's interesting. Wow, her name should, is real name is Jane, and that's really close to oh, Jean. Oh, holy so crap! I, why don't you submit this We're to IMDb? Write this. Really great discoveries the, right the, here. The so, trivia thing. Wow. Like, you know, uh, yeah. 
I should, but I, I'm like I'm pretty sure she's gonna be the villain of the next se- of the next season. Mm-hmm. I That's think um, I think it'll be fun though. Do you it, think that it'll be one of those instances where she's like being controlled? No, I think she's just gonna. I don't like, think she's controlled. Yeah, I, I think, think she's gonna lose control. I think that's gonna. Ah, uh, wow. well, have you guys seen the previews for the second season? I have. Kind of. I only saw the I guess the shorter one because I I don't like watching previews that sort of give away too much. Yeah. yeah. Looks pretty cool, but I think it's gonna expand outside of the immediate Logan. character mm-hmm. ring that we are familiar with. Yeah. We're gonna start. That I think they might introduce new characters, but that's just speculation. As long as There's we have Hopper, Jonathan, and yeah. Mike, I'm done. Yeah. Well, they're bringing in some new characters. <laughs> I know they're bringing in the guy who was the Red Ranger from the new yes. Power Ranger movie. I haven't seen Power Dicker, Rangers. Montgomery. I'm very excited about. <laughs> uh, so he's supposed to be in there, and I think there's supposed to be some other ones too. Um, but because of Stranger Things, we kind of got into it here at the Signal, and we came up with our own parody, which is Signal Things. Oh, How yeah. original is that? <laughs> so clever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we actually have a display outside that we actually won for Best uh, Window, which was the judged the vote. The judged, yeah. I accept that. Which is, that. I think, more exciting than maybe the popular vote because it's actually, you know, you've taken everything into consideration. You're very, you know, critical about it. And we won. So I'm very, very excited about that. It's a clever take on, like, something pop culture, which I just said yeah. I like. So. Yeah. Uh, but we did a good make a trailer that Jonathan directed Ooh. and wrote. So tell us more about the, your process with that and how you kind of developed it to <laughs> what it was. Be honest. So, uh, yeah, no, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not going to... I was the star, by the he's way. Not, he's on a sellout trail. <laughs> I'm not sellout, okay. Man. I'm not going to give you what you want. No, I'll okay. sell out eventually. Um, I'm just, I'm just so I'll probably sell out. Liz came to me with the idea. Um, she's familiar that I've done some film work before. And, uh, you know, it, it was kind of a short notice thing. I wouldn't say short notice. We had a couple weeks to prepare. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't a lot of time. So... I didn't actually uh, write any lines, and I left it up to you know we'll see what we what we have that day of filming. Because a lot of times uh, people will say they'll show up and then they don't, and I've experienced that. And it's n- n- nothing against people who can't show up or whatever, yeah. but um, I just knew that if I w- were to write lines down specifically, this this could possibly take more than the time that I had. Yep. So uh, one of the days I got with the spirit squad and uh i'd like to thank them for for helping out and giving giving us some time to shoot and this was on um one of their nights of practice and that's where i first started to get an idea of what we could do with it Mm -hmm. because prior to that i didn't have much to go with much much to snowball with oh my but, god uh, you never leave your pom-poms on the ground yeah why was that cut that was like one yeah of my favorite i love lines. that line and it was like okay. muted okay. like when they, when they were showing it in this trailer because i had seen what your draft that you said showed yeah. me and there was like the voice and stuff and then this i saw the finished one it's like wait that was like and then the, the, scream, the, the scream but the, i put the screams <laughs> back in though uh yeah. because the the co- there was one taken down for copyright yeah and this the other the re-upload should have the audio there yeah but uh honestly <laughs> there was a lot that we filmed and a lot of it was cut so uh <laughs> i just felt I, just, I, I might release them because an extended version because or is like a blooper. Director's like cut. A, yeah. yeah, I'll do the director's cut because there, yeah. there was so much with the the the, the spirit squad and mm-hmm. a lot of the scenes that we filmed were cut because I wanted to make it seem more like a trailer than an episode. Yeah. So, uh, but there were scenes that you know people haven't seen yet yeah. and. Uh, as Troy Lincoln you should explained. definitely make that its own thing. Yeah, could, even if it's like longer than a trailer, yeah. like that would just be fun to watch. So tell me, who did you um you know work with in making this? Who were the main stars? <laughs> who was uh, who, the star? Who were the big people <laughs> for the story? It's an ensemble piece. Man. It's yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, definitely. I, I don't want to give anyone else more credit than the other. Like, the, the Spirit Squad. <laughs> Drop some names All of right. who All you right. worked okay. with. <laughs> okay. The day that we were shooting here in oh, the newsroom, God. it was uh, me, Jeremy, and Troy Lynn here. And, 
What? Wait, the you know what I'm saying? Woohoo! Like, oh. Uh, he says, I feel like he wants me he to says, make a poster he says number one that one. says starring uh, him. Think, right? That's what it's I think like, so, yeah. too. But you got a lot of good lines, though. Yeah. So I will say that after watching it, I do think that Troy Lone was the star of that. Because he did really good. He was yeah, really funny. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. he's that the... Last, that last little scene <laughs> where he's like, oh, they're not singing. They're screaming. They're screaming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was quite an experience. Let me talk about my experience. Yes, yes. 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 Um, Oh yeah, well I've acted previous things. <laughs> he did. I saw. Yeah, him you, if you guys want to watch it, we'll watch it after this uh, podcast. But anyway, uh, I thought it was a pretty great experience, like working with Jonathan and everything, who unprofessionally showed up late. Uh, just oh. kidding. Uh, it was only like ten minutes. Late. Just out. kidding. Just kidding. But uh, <laughs> ten I minutes should, is a lot of show business. You should add that. You should add that to my pay. But anyway, oh. Um, oh. it was a pretty great experience. At first, I was kind of worried because you know Jonathan didn't have anything written, and we were gonna improvise. <laughs> And I was like, what? But me, coming from experience, because, you know, while I don't do as much now, I used to be like a big filming guy and still want to. Um, I like the idea of improvision and stuff, because, mm-hmm. you know, like Jonathan said, people can be unreliable yeah. and stuff. <laughs> so, like, I kind of... Like, like Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan, when he talks no, 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 oh, no. I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing with what he said about <laughs> people don't show up. So I thought that was really good. Working with Jeremy and stuff, it was just really fun being able to improvise and me. How was Jeremy? Because I know Jeremy could be a diva. Really? Yeah. He could be, he, he could no, be a he real was, big diva. They were... <laughs> Okay, yeah, he was. He, he wanted a trailer and everything. He wanted yeah. his own. I mean, if he was here, we would ask him. But he was know. complaining he, that he didn't he have other obligations. Yeah. He, you know, uh, Jeremy was. Um, he was pretty calm, and it, yeah. I think it was interesting because, yeah. like, you know, in the whole filming, I was like, I was the energetic one. He was the uh, calm one, and we were kind of. Yang. Yeah, we were kind of being Very ourselves, nice. and me, as opposed to me, my overacting, being like, "Dude, you can believe what I just heard." <laughs> John, uh, Jeremy is just like, what? It's like, uh, <laughs> Uh, shouldn't we leave, call the police or something? <laughs> like, he was just really yeah. calm and stuff. It was it was fun working with all of them yeah. and all that. And it was especially uh, funny just filming some of my scenes. I just kind of overacted and I tried like, you know, just really doing my thing. And sometimes I did unnecessary stuff, like the scene where we're walking through the woods. Mm-hmm. Jonathan didn't put this in, but when we're looking for the girls, like we're calling out. And at one point I was like, sexy girls, where are you? <laughs> and stuff. I cut that out for yeah, obvious reasons. Yeah, I probably reasons. cut that out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was, it was for the fun, man. It is fun. <laughs> it is fun. I was uh, surprised at everyone's cooperation. Uh, well, actually, you know, I shouldn't be because everyone wanted to do this. Yeah. Whereas yeah. other projects, I think I've had people who weren't actors, but they didn't. They also didn't want to try. Yeah. yeah. And but everyone was so great when with the Spirit Squad, the the scenes went by so fast. Like we we shot a lot of things that night in in just an hour, as well as when I was here with them. And you're. I was. I you're mean, in it. Oh, you were got in it. Oh, I forgot. You were he's in got it. The, he's got the gaze after uh, Liz. <laughs> I forgot about our, that. Calling to uh, our editor in chief was looking at a bunch of lights really crazily. She could have like, acted spirit. better. Can you hear me? I'm like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> she could have been louder. Like she said, it's so cool. Like, school spirit. Where are you? Like she could have. Well, been, like, was like kind of drawn out with the music too. So I think that was. Well, true. Yeah, but even we were filming, I literally heard how low she was and you even said you could have said more she just started being like bleep you Brandon bleep yeah. you <laughs> well, I was like, she literally said bleep no, I don't know if we can say profanity on I mean, here yeah. I don't want to be unprofessional <laughs> uh, but I think that kind of does beg the question Ow! Since <laughs> sorry <laughs> this is a very weird cut the reason it's bleeding so much there's like literally like a kind of a piece of flesh hanging off me <laughs> Like you cut a vein or something. <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's not a major. Vein. Okay, he'll be fine. It's kind of larger, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in the process of us sitting here, but uh, I think this does beg the question of: since you're gonna like be producing more films and stuff, would you hire Troy Lon again? I would. I would work with you again. Yeah. Well, in fact, we're we're trying to start something. Yeah, we're actually starting. Yeah, we're starting a series. We're not gonna say too much about it. But wait, is it the one you were talking about earlier? Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. Yes. Don't say anything. The one that may have. We gotta. We gotta (laughs) tease people because then one that may have resulted in this cut, which you may see in the film. Maybe reenactment. Who knows? Well, it may or may not be in it because he may not be. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe. 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 We'll have a stand-in. Have established that we will be working together many many 
more and more times in yes. the future. Ooh, we nice. have similar goals. We got an extended contract. <laughs> exactly. Exclusive pro- contract with him. Exactly. Yeah. I need yeah. someone with a good index finger, though. So. <laughs> hey, That's if it's going to be purple and looking all weird. <laughs> this will be handled. I'll have to CGI <laughs> it. It's more time. Well, I don't want to have to CGI your hand. I mean, well, how do we know I'm going to be in it? Oh, true. That. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'll just be the director. Just I'll have fire to, like, you. Carry on the oh. hook or something. <laughs> He's going to fire you from your own company. <laughs> hey, it's it's happened to a lot of people. It's happened before. It has happened before. Didn't it happen to that guy at Men's Warehouse, too? Wait, what? what? <laughs> Some guy at. No. Never mind. <laughs> no, continue. Yeah. But I don't know. But I don't want to say incorrect. Like, oh, got you. Oh, hey. I don't know if he was you can say actually on the board. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, but um, the one of the main guys from Men's Warehouse, like they had a problem with him, and basically they kicked him out of the circle. They're like, you're not gonna have anything to do with this. Let go my egos. You're not welcome here. <laughs> That's yes. a stranger thing. That goes. Uh, Interesting. Like a stranger thing. But, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of references in the show. Though. There was, uh, but I'm not sure when this will come out. But if it comes out before Friday, this Friday, which is October 27th, you should stop by the newsroom, which is in the Bayou Building, 12:39, and uh, we're gonna have a Stranger Things party with Egos and uh, <laughs> trivia and Egos. <laughs> and we will Eggles. show signal things. <laughs> yes, we will show Troy Lon's, uh acting debut. Well, yes. not my acting debut. Well, in the big screen. In the big screen. I suppose. I suppose. In the big screen ish. I, yeah. I got a few stuff from my high school days. Yeah. You, you've seen it. Yeah. You should tell us. We're all going to watch that. Oh, no. uh, I'm just kidding. Yes, you'll <laughs> all watch it. High school is the movie. <laughs> it's pretty violent, though. I'm not surprised, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't write it. <laughs> I was just an actor. At least it didn't cost you your finger. There you, you go. Did it. Yeah. Hey, I could have been shot while filming this. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Y'all use a real gun? I didn't use a real gun, but think about it. If I think cop, I meant like a video if a, shot. If a, oh, shot. Yeah. No, a <laughs> shot. If a cop saw me with that, it, I would have been the next many people that have been getting killed. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Am I getting political here? I'm sorry. Yes. Oh. Sorry. Hey, That's it's weird. true. It's a real issue, and we it talked is. about it. Take a knee, everyone. There you go. You said you would. Uh, well, very very <laughs> much so. But you can go back and watch the last episode to hear about us talking about the take, take a knee uh, camp protest. But any last comments on Halloween and Halloween? Any stories? Anything that you know you want to close out with? Well, remember how you said that you were uh, scared of ghosts and stuff? Yeah. yeah. I gotta say. Can I um, share it with y'all? Can I jump in? Yeah, come on yeah. over. Can I share Catherine's here. Catherine's hey, coming. Guys. I'm just. She's uh, a little under the weather. Yeah, I'm a little under the weather, so I didn't want to contaminate everybody. Look at me. Uh, we're both under oh the weather. No. What happened? <laughs> uh, <laughs> vampire. So I'm gonna tell you my um, costume for this year, and you guys are gonna tell me what you think. Ooh. Not necessarily very scary, but still. Um, I'm using it. I'm going out on it. I'm going out every <laughs> day. I might even come to school and to the newspaper wearing it. You should. I should. <laughs> what is it? Try to guess what it is. Oh, gosh. It's a children's, like, movie. Okay. Mm, uh, I guess I should exclude any animals. <laughs> no. You shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't exclude an animal. Are you Nala? From the line. No. Um, <laughs> I'm going. So cool. <laughs> I know, right? I should have thought about that. Pocahontas. You're Simba. <laughs> no, I'm not a lion. Uh, wish, I you, wish. Are you Pocahontas? No. Are you a hybrid? Is this like the little mermaid kind of thing? She's not an I'll give you a clue. It's a yellow bear. It's from that movie. The Goldberg. I mean, not Goldbergs. It's the a yellow. Bear. The brown bear. It's a yellow, like. <laughs> the Goldstein bears? Chubby bear. Yellow hey, chubby bear. bear. We do. Aha, uh-huh, you got the movie. No, which character am I? Piglet. Yes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I bought a Piglet onesie just because I'm obsessed with Piglet. I've always been. <laughs> and both me and saying. I convinced my boyfriend to do it. So I'll nice. send you all a picture so we can sure. like <laughs> share it on the signal. Well, well, yes, we're going to wear it tomorrow in the bookstore. You can get a, uh, a gift card. Oh, you weren't yeah. lying? You wear a costume. 
What? I, I, wait, sorry, I wasn't wait, lying. But I want to know that. if you get one or if it's like. You, you get a chance. Yeah, I think okay. it's like you get a chance. That's important, man. I'm going to go chance. out. I'm it's like go when stores put But up, then if you're like the only one wearing it. I don't need a chance. Like I need the up. gift card. So, yeah. no. <laughs> so is your boyfriend going to be Christopher Robin? No, he's going to be Piglet. We're going to be both Piglet. We Ooh, are two Piglets. So cute. Yes. Oh, I was like, you're wearing that? We already bought them. I'll show them to you later. But yeah, they're yes. adorable. I was like, it comes with like... Um, Big slippers, so it's like a legitimate pig like costume. Very nice. Walking as opposed bacon. to the Ill- illegitimate one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's my story. Very nice. Thank you, Gather. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, any, any closing thoughts? Yes. You were saying about ghosts. Yes. Yeah, you said you were scared of ghosts. Well, for yeah. a while, I had a terrifying fear of hellhounds because. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, no. Call of Duty? No, because I was walking through my house and I swear I thought I saw some black dogs running around in my room. Not in my game room, on my pool table and in my air hockey and stuff. What were you on? (laughs) Nothing. I was on my right state of mind. So yeah, I had a little hellhound incident and stuff. Interesting. Well, what is y'all's like biggest fear? Oh, uh, I, I don't know if I should talk. Uh, my biggest fear? Oh, you don't want to know my dying biggest fear. Alone. My <laughs> biggest fear, don't laugh, it's completely illogical. Um, I'm terrified of butterflies. Really? Absolutely. I knew a girl who was terrified of me. Butterflies or the butterfly it's, effect? Oh, what is that? <laughs> you don't know what that is? No. Oh, don't, I don't, don't, it. Freaky it. <laughs> don't even. It'll you will freak hear you about out. it in Stranger Things, okay. probably. I can see Stranger It'll Things doing that. Butterflies are, for don't Google. fun fact, are attracted to the scent of death. Oh, and there was like I was at my friend's house and like there were all like a massive swarm of butterflies in the like corner of her backyard and she was like what is that so I was like it's a dead animal it's a dead animal it's a dead animal like I know what it is and we walked in the back and there was a dead squirrel and there was like wow. five butterflies it was so gross I would like throw up a pack well it was fun like, fact bad. there is a species of butterfly that might as well be a mosquito that drinks blood what <laughs> I I am. I am not lying. I swear on all that is holy. If there is a holy thing, there are blood-sucking butterflies. No. Interesting. And another I'm not comment lying. on that about butterflies is uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a friend whose mother uh, always told us, like, if you see a black butterfly, that means you're going to die. Because uh, she saw it happen to one of her family members. What the like, fuck? The, the, the last few days, she was... She was uh, alive. There was like she was perfectly fine or something, but there was a black butterfly sort of lingering around her every time she went outside, and then she passed away. That is oh my God, that's so depressing. Like, on my way so to the <laughs> Arbor Building last semester for my photography class, um, there was a butterfly, and it passed right by me, and then it came back and landed on me. I sat down in the <laughs> middle of the walkway and called my dad to come take me out because I was crying too hard to actually oh attend God. class. I knew someone was who was so scared bad. of butterflies. Cause because they thought that the wings are pretty, <coughs> but like if you take, don't look at my finger. I but can't. when you take like away really the wings, red. you got Ooh. the little legs and stuff. And their eyes are gross and. <laughs> and it reminds me of that. Have yeah. you, okay, I'm sure you guys have watched SpongeBob. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, well, it reminds me of that episode where they didn't know what a butterfly was, and they thought it was cute at first sight, but when they saw it up close, hearing oh, the buzzing yeah. sound, they freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> and they <laughs> terrified the whole oh town. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that. I, I would, I haven't seen an episode, but I would probably have a panic attack and just cry. Like, I am terrified of butterflies. Well, I, why I don't I? know why. I don't know what started it because I used to huh? love them and I don't know the, if I was attacked the, uh, by them and I was suppressed the memory or something. Maybe wow. we should go on to well, our fears. I, I was gonna say that, <laughs> yeah. you know, if these are closing comments, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that. <laughs> Look up the urban legend of the Mothman, and that will surely. Oh, I scare love you. the Mothman. You love the Mothman. Yeah. You know, you know what it is, right? Yeah, okay. I used to. It's, <laughs> it's actually it very popular. It's a popular urban legend. It's it's like I used Bigfoot. To, but, I used to be obsessed with that stuff, like the cryptids with Bigfoot and all that. Like I, I legitimately used to tell people when I'm older, I want to be a cryptozoologist. Then I found out. That's not an accepted field, and they're kind of made fun of by scientists, yeah, and they don't make that. money. Uh-huh. Yeah, but yeah. Mothman is a... Is that Angel your biggest fear? Yeah. It's not yeah. my biggest fear. I don't, what's your biggest fear? <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a hmm. giant, like, legendary creature. Um, in terms you don't have a biggest fear? I wouldn't say I have and a biggest it's fear. Like, 
I don't like my rational biggest fear is that someone uh, is puts on turns really on their EMP and like all of our devices don't work, cars don't work, like just that would be everything goes terrifying. primitive. That kind of leads to the zombie apocalypse. I have a yeah. similar biggest fear. I would say my biggest rational fear, even though I'm not sure if this is rational, but my biggest rational fear is nuclear war because I feel like that's, yeah, it's just that's, terrible. That's deep. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah it's just. For sure. I don't know why, but for some reason I've been thinking so much about it. Like in my sleep, I wake up if I hear a plane now because I just have this well, weird feeling down. like what if it <laughs> drops a bomb? Like whenever I see anything flying now, I just wonder like what if it just starts dropping nukes and well, stuff? I mean, in every film ever, whenever someone's bombing America, I don't know if you noticed or not, but they always go to Houston <laughs> every single time. So yeah, yeah. That is true. I mean... I feel like we're a pretty easy was target. <laughs> One thing to like, it wasn't a fear, but it was like something I thought about. I was like, you know, if I'm claustrophobic, and I'm like, I can't be in a space. Like, I, 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 being in a space like overwhelms me. What about if there's somebody in the world who like feels claustrophobic just by being outside because you're in the earth? Oh my god! You know, like, like take it to the next level. Earth. You know, like <laughs> I wonder if there's a person like that. They probably, probably are in feel asylum. Oh, yeah. you know yeah. There are lots of people with that. Like I would want to do an interview with that person because yeah. that would be interesting. Well, you know what's if really you're, interesting? Like, you're, you're like so claustrophobic and idea. you're outside because you're trapped on earth. <laughs> That is a good idea. I remember when I went to this uh, medical camp. That could be a movie. You should make it. It's going to be in the trilogy of these mockumentaries. (laughs) I'll be the star of the film. I remember there was this uh, (laughs) guy who told me how, he he was like a psychiatrist, and he said how at one of the events he went to, he met this guy who legitimately thought he was Superman. So if there are people like that, I'm sure there are people who might be scared of the earth. Well, you have agoraphobiacs who don't okay. want to go outside. My so. brother is an agoraphobia. He's, like, terrified of crowds. Mm-hmm. Just, like, add the opposite. Like, if I'm, like, the only person in a room, I, like, will flip out. Like, I was the only one here for the longest time, and I was like, where are people? So that's why things <laughs> were flipped people? over. Like, you flipped over the tables and You flipped and over the yeah. table? Why? I was freaking um, out. How dare you? No. How no, dare I you? I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, got all on camera. <laughs> Good feeling. Signal things. <laughs> Two. Signal you know, on second thought, I think Crazy. my biggest fear is dying right now because I think I'm about to pass out. Yeah, you should really <laughs> no. get that chip. No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, I'm, no. kidding. No. I'm kidding. I, I, I'm like really honest. Like it. <laughs> when, he has a, a napkin taped around his finger, and it started out like a really small, <laughs> and now it's pretty much the whole side of it Coming is yeah. red. Which like and it's not just like the, the light. I think Jonathan should walk. You I'll know? walk. I'll walk. Film it. Yeah. 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 Film, film the process, just in case he happened to fall out or something. <laughs> this Legal has been issues. Troilin Griffin exiting the building. Now <laughs> I'm bleeding out. Yes. Yeah, so thank you guys for listening to Signal Soundbites, and thank you guys for joining me on thank this conversation. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, and, thank you. Uh, you should thank definitely you come him. back again next time. Catch so. me on the next one, homie. Hopefully he's still here. (laughs) I will be here. Vampire. Vampire. He may be missing a finger. He may. Come on!